A typical NCAA athlete is granted four years of eligibility, and when those four years of eligibility have passed, most athletes wish they could go back for just one more season with their team. This last spring, Seton Hall Baseball graduated a majority of its veteran pitching staff, but luckily for them, they were able to retain one of those key members. Most of the times in baseball, a mound visit is used to either get a pitcher back into his zone or to discuss the plan of attack with the next hitter that's going to step in the box. But this time around, I'm calling a mound visit with Alex Nicolosi to discuss his plan of attack for his sixth and final year with Seton Hall Baseball. So Alex, how has the first week back of your sixth year of college been? Well, you know, it's been, it's been smooth. I've been around the campus quite a, quite a few times now. I get to the swing of things. Um, class has been fine. Nothing too crazy, you know. After uh, this many years of college, you start to run out of majors and things to do, so it's, it's good. And from my understanding, you were able to gain back two years of eligibility through a COVID year and a redshirt year. Correct. And so through those years, you stayed so committed to Seton Hall. What makes this program and this university so special to you? You know, it honestly has a lot to do with just one word for me, and it's culture. You know, Coach Shep really preaches on never losing your hustle. And I think when you first come in as a freshman, you kind of realize, like, maybe you don't know exactly what it can really amount to by the time you come to be an upperclassman. And for me, I really kind of pulled through by, I would say, my senior year. And when I had the chance to come back last year, it was kind of a no-brainer for me and some of the other older guys that came back. And here I am another year. And I would say that the culture of the team and the guys that I've been with over my long tenure here has really made it easy for me. You just took me through the years there a little bit. Can you take me through how your you feel your role has changed coming from an underclassman all the way to a grad student now? Right. So, um, I mean, really, honestly, like my freshman year didn't play much. Uh, I was more just kind of there for the ride, you know, doing what I had to do as a freshman to be on the team. Sophomore year was COVID, didn't get much of an opportunity there before the season ended. Uh, even junior year as an upperclassman, I came back, didn't see much of a role, didn't pitch at all. And then by senior year, I, I just kind of got my opportunities and then I never looked back ever since then. Can you give me some of what your personal goals or even team goals might be for this upcoming season? I mean, the, the, the big one obviously we have checked off would be winning a Big East championship and that's obviously my, my main goal. Personal goals would just be to be a good teammate, lead like I always have been, uh, really set a good example for the younger guys and then obviously have another good season hopefully. Having a good season and potentially getting that Big East title, what have you been doing this summer and leading into this fall to help you meet those goals come spring? No, it's, it's a lot of training. So for me, I would say that the biggest thing has been staying committed to the workouts, to the throwing, all that, not just mailing it in certain days because it, it does get hard after six long years of doing it. So the biggest thing is staying dedicated to your craft and working real hard and basically never, never losing that that hope in winning that championship. Looking further down the road and onto bigger things, what are your plans for the future post-graduation? You know, that's that's been a question I've been asked uh, for, this is the third year now, so it, right now I'm just kind of, you know, just going with the flow of things, trying to enjoy the time that I am. Obviously a finance and marketing major now in business analytics with my master's, something within statistics and analytics would be right in my area of where I would like to be but obviously never keeping baseball out of the question in the future so we'll see. How do you think that this program and this university has either prepared you for that role with business and finance or on the field? You know uh, I mean just from off the field a lot of the professors here have been really good really helpful um, it's, I mean it's been a tough road along never the classes are never always easy and clear cut so I would say that just having good professors also keeping it to the point where they're not making it too easy on you to get by but still keeping that real world kind of possibilities in there would makes it really helpful and then obviously baseball wise just coaches helping you turn people into young men as well also helps. As important as looking into the future and setting goals and planning for your career can be I feel that it's also imperative we reflect on your past because You've spent some time here, you've made some great memories, you've met some amazing people, had some great moments. So I want to take 30 seconds and give you a little speed round of your most favorite things here with the program and with the university. Right. Would you be ready for that? I'm ready. Okay, so I have my timer set. I have my list of favorites for you. All right. I'm going to start now. Favorite jersey combo? Ten shrubs. 
favorite spot on campus? The rec center. Favorite wait, wait, where are we start? I gotta say the baseball field, that's horrible. <laughs> favorite jersey combo? Ten stripes. Favorite spot on campus? Baseball field. Favorite field you've played on? Florida. Favorite game or play that you've appeared in? Last year, biggest tournament versus Xavier. Favorite professor? Dean Kaiser. Favorite walkout song you've had? Public service announcement. Good one. Favorite spring break baseball trip? California. Favorite pregame snack or meal? Penny vodka. Favorite year so far? Last year. Favorite class hall? Oh, the timer went off, but I want to hear this one. Jubilee. Jubilee? Just because I, like I spent so much time in there. That's all I have for you today, but I just want to thank you one more time for meeting me out here for a mountain visit. And I also want to say that I've really enjoyed your career here and getting to watch you from this mound. And I'm looking forward to watching you for one last season. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me. And thank you guys for watching. This is Sydney Babig for the Pirate Sports Network signing out.